This is David Gilmore known as LDS Prepper and to watch over 600 videos that could save your life go to ldsprepper.com. Today I'm helping a friend trying to set up uh, communications for his family in case of emergency. I'm over at his house that's still in construction and we're up on the second floor and we'll take a look outside here in a minute to show you the antenna setup. But let me show you what we have going here. Uh, we've got an extension cord coming in from one of the wall outlets that's got power. I've got my MFJ 25 amp mighty light switching uh, power supply here. Being in this house and no one else here, I can actually hear how loud this is. So this has worked well. I have never had an issue with it for 15 years. It's been great. Uh, however, the Wusan uh, power supply, switching power supply that I have back at my office uh, is much, much quieter. Also has a, it's a 30 amp. At any rate, um, links down below all these items that I mentioned you know, will be below the video. Uh, I've got my Kenwood TMV71 uh, attached to my power supply with some sticky tape. So I've just got that sitting here. But what we're using here today is a really, really good, solid uh, 50 watt mobile base station from Wusan. It is the KG-1000G and I have been nothing but impressed with this radio. I, I won't go into detail right now on this radio, but uh, it is a classy radio, solid, well-built, uh, outstanding speakers, dual speakers on the top, and then you also have a mic speaker in here. Just uh, could not be happier with this radio. If you are looking for a 50 watt mobile or base station radio that also does dual um, frequency monitoring uh, with quality products and great support from buy2aradios.com, this is the radio that I recommend. At any rate, uh, let me tell you about the setup and what we're trying to do here. Brian's building this house. This is about 50 miles away from his work and he wants to be able to communicate in case of emergency with his family uh, those 50 miles. Yesterday I uh, called a friend of mine who has GMRS radio and an external antenna and we were able to reach from here to his location in Blackfoot which is approximately 18 miles away. Uh, he could hear me perfectly clear as if we were in the same room, but I, he never broke squelch. And then this is a, a couple of things I want to point out is you can have, um, you can receive somebody who has more power and a better antenna that, and they may not be able to receive you. He was on, I believe a five watt handheld with an external antenna, but, um, he did not break squelch, even though I have my squelch down to two. So uh, that did not work. Then um, I dropped down from full power. You can see I'm on high here. We went down to medium and then we went down to low and he was able to hear me uh, very clear also. So not an issue. Then what we did is we tested this Midland a micro a GMRS radio. And this is really a sweet little radio. It's, it's literally to plug and play. It's actually made to plug directly into a cigarette light, lighter or 12 volt outlet in a vehicle. Uh, and everything's programmed into it as the regular uh, frequencies for the general FRS and GMRS radios. And really the radio is right here in your hand. This radio comes with this little, uh, I would also call it a micro antenna. It's probably six inches tall. And you can see I've got it sitting on a cookie sheet here. Uh, so we could test it and this did not break squelch at all uh, at Blackfoot 18 miles away so what our experience was is even though I could get down to uh, low power on here and get to Blackfoot I could not get to Blackfoot on 15 watts with this and that antenna so what we did is we disconnected that little antenna and, and, and plugged in the big antenna which I'll show you here in a second and I was able to get clearly over to Blackfoot, but I was not able to pick him up. So they say you can have a cheap radio, but you need to have a high quality antenna. Uh, there's a lot to that. Let's take a look at the antenna. Here is the antenna 
that has been working so well and we also use the same antenna for the other family that is going 17 miles uh, with GMRS. I got this antenna from the guys over at buy2wayradios.com. They're excellent to work with. Uh, they've always had an answer for my questions and they answer the phones. So if the sales staff can't answer the question, they'll shoot me over to John in tech support and he is amazing. So what I've done here is I've tuned that antenna. I'll have another video about that. But this is a GMRS specific antenna and I've got it on two 10 foot lengths of fence top rails. It is up 20 feet in the air and as you can see this building is a steel building. So I'm using the building actually as a re reflector headed south because I'm trying to get as much distance as I can. So we just have it temporarily set up here. The ladder's holding it up until we have find a solution that actually works. So we've got a high quality uh, cable from buy2wayradios.com and a high quality antenna. The antenna's making all the difference. Let's go see where Brian is on the route right now. Understood that you're about three miles north of Blackfoot. Is that correct? Over? Yes, that's correct. All right, I'll uh, be in touch with you in a few minutes. A few moments later. Brian, this is David. You copy, over. All right, yeah, you're coming in full quieting and you're at um, eight bars, so you're doing really well. What's your approximate location? The uh, north Blackfoot exit, and, uh, and you're, uh, everything here from here seems strong. The signals, both sending and receiving, are about as full as they get. Okay, great. Uh, once you get south of Blackfoot. Let's start the reading off mile markers, okay? Understood. I'll start reading the mile markers once I get to that south Blackfoot exit. Copy that. Alright, so he is actually traveling from here. He was here at this house this morning uh, taking care of his animals. I got set up and he's traveling to his work location in Pocatello and we're tracking mile markers on the freeway so that we have an idea where we lose signal. There are two GMRS repeaters in Pocatello. However, I've not been able to get hooked up on those and I've, I've reached out to the uh, repeater owners to see if uh, I can get information and if we have permission to get on those repeaters. There's another repeater east of us here uh, at Taylorville and we will try that once we lose con communications on Simplex on GMRS. Go ahead, Brian. I just passed mile marker 88, and you're coming in clear and strong. No more static. Good to know. Uh, you're up to uh, nine, looks like uh, one, two, three, eight or nine bars here. A little static, but uh, it's completely readable, so we're doing good. So you're now south of uh, Blackfoot, correct? Yes, that's correct. I'm now a mile, uh, mile and a half south of Blackfoot. Uh, I've just crossed over onto the reservation. Sounds good. Talk to you in a minute. A few moments later. All right, so right now I've set up the... David, this is Brian. I just passed mile marker 83. Do you copy okay? Yeah, you're coming in strong, Brian. Uh, you can kind of between 8 and 9, so uh, you're a great distance away for these GMRS radios, especially on a mobile, but uh, it's working great. What do you think? Yeah, you're going to be dropping down quite a bit when you get into Pocatello, so that'll be the real test. The distance doesn't seem to be a problem right now. Over. So right now I am monitoring GMRS channel 19, and also I've got the, um, the Taylorsville repeater in here. Like I mentioned, if we lose uh, comms, we'll switch over to Taylorville. It's one of the really nice things about this Wusan uh, 1000G is um, I can be monitoring something else and uh, communicating uh, this is uh, really important if you're in a community network 
or you could have your your town Taylorsville set up on one side and have your family on the other or a, a, a rescue party or something else going on on the other channels and you're not going to miss anything there's also a scan feature in here uh, which you can scan on one side and, and still be listening to the other so a lot of really nice features on this so 1000 G I really do recommend this Wusan 1000 G I believe they just came out with the 1000 G plus it has a couple uh, minor uh, improvements on it but not significant so either one of them is going to be a good radio for you and I would highly recommend uh, Understand mile marker 80. A few moments later. Okay, Brian, that uh, mile marker 79 really, really scratch you down to, to two and three bars. And like you mentioned, you're dropping down in elevation and that's where we may lose you. But uh, that's why we're checking every mile because you may pop back up on elevation. Do you copy me? Over. Uh, repeat your last transmission over yeah so elevation is is what's uh, is what's playing the primary factor here not the distance QSY to Taylorsville QSY to Taylorsville so all I have to do is just push the band button here and now I'm over at Taylorsville, and we'll see if we can pick up Brian as he moves over there. He'll have to uh, turn the dial on his radio. The Midland doesn't have dual band, and I'll pick him up here. Brian, this is David, WROI 948. Winter storm warning. Winter storm watch. Uh, by the way, that was a weather alert which is built into this radio really nice uh, I didn't have to do anything and it uh, gave me the warning I'm gonna see if I can get Brian again Brian this is David 948 so I'm hitting the repeater but Brian isn't able to hit the repeater uh, the next uh, step we go to is over to cell phone so he's not able to hit the repeater um, but I'm monitoring both in case he goes back to 19. All right, so it's time to call him on the cell phone. Okay, so we've lost Brian on. David, this is Brian. I just reached mile marker 73, and I'm approaching the exit to uh, Falls. Uh, over. Understood, mile marker 73. 73. All right, so it's getting really scra uh, sketchy right now, and I think... Hey, David, I don't know if you can hear me. I, I heard you broadcasting all I got was static, so my end is not hearing me. Oh. Understood. Uh, I hear you at mile marker 73, mile marker 73. I got that last message. I got that last copy. Over. Okay, so the situation here is probably the antenna. We're really, really stretching the, the, the distance that GMRS uh, can go. And we're not able to hit the Taylorville. He's not able to hit the Taylorville repeater because it's basically due east of me. So the further he drives, the further away he gets from that repeater. So this is what you... Understood 71. Understood 71. 71. So this is the process that you have to go through to make sure that you have emergency comms set up. You can't just buy a radio and figure, you know, it comes with an antenna like this one here or the other antenna that we have on his truck. That may not make it for your particular situation. Uh, so uh, what we decided to do here... Understood mile marker seven zero. 
repeat numeral seven zero mile marker uh, really sketchy down to one and two bars over and so what we decided to hear instead of trying this the lesser power radios initially we thought we tried the more powerful 50 watt radios get the best antenna here at the house i do have another antenna that i'm tuning so we'll, we may put that on a bumper hitch and see if that works on his truck Understood exiting uh, mile six nine six nine. So uh, no one would have believed that we could have gotten this far with these GMRS radios. This is uh, with uh, no no repeaters at all, and with the elevate elevation drop. So he just dropped off the freeway, which means he's lowering his elevation, which is going to even make it more difficult. He's going to continue transmitting until he gets all the way to the office, and then he'll call me on the cell phone. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm actually picking you up and you're at the Idaho uh, campus there. Do you copy me? Over. Well, no one would have believed that we could have go that we could go 50 miles just uh, radio to radio simplex here all the way from Shelley to the Institute building. That's amazing. Uh, we may need to upgrade the antenna and uh, it could work for you. Over. So I'm able to hear him. He's not able to hear me. I think that's an antenna issue and I'll talk to him. He should be calling me on the mobile phone here uh, if he's not able to pick up my transmissions. Okay, he's calling me on the cell phone right now. Okay, so Brian is at his office at the university 50 miles away. We just did 50 miles simplex uh, uh, radio to radio, no repeater on GMRS with a mag mount antenna on the truck. The last couple transmissions, as you heard, were not really readable. So what we are going to do is I'm going to head back home, get some breakfast and uh, tune the other uh, high gain antenna. Then he'll come over this evening or tomorrow and we'll mount that on his truck either a frame mount or a bumper mount and we'll test that and see if that makes the difference all right when i got home i did not have the antenna that i uh, needed so i called by two way radios talked to tanner there and we discussed radio antennas and he's recommending the browning br450 antenna so i just ordered that when that comes in next week we will uh, get that tuned to GMRS, get that installed. We'll swap radios in the truck so Brian can experience the Wusan radio. And I'll be using the Midland radio at his house. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Click the black bell because you'll want to know the outcome with this new higher gain antenna. All antennas are not created equal. And I'll go into detail on that and why that's important to know in the next video. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if ye are prepared, ye shall not fear. If you're looking good for good quality amateur radio or GMRS radios, or if you have questions, which may be the best one for you, get a hold of the guys over at buy2wayradios.com. I have my affiliate links below this video for all the items I've discussed which will give you the best price and also help support this channel. Thank you very much. Stay tuned, stay subscribed, and click the black bell for updates.